Ah, air conditioning, air conditioning. I won't lie to you guys, it's pretty hot today. Wow, look at this road. We're heading east now. In one mile, turn right onto South Indian River Drive. Reminds me of the scrubs where the Barefoot Mailman statue was. The nice thing about this area is there's a lot of water up here between uh, the St. Lucie River and um, St. John's River, and of course the ocean and the intracoastal. At the stop sign, turn right onto South Indian River Drive. This is kind of rustic. Oh, there you go. You can see the water. Guys, look at the size of it. Look how it opens up here. Look how much water this is. And this is not the ocean. As you head east, you leave Port St. Lucie. And this is actually Jensen Beach that I'm driving through right now. And boy, is it lovely. Come on, Pelican. Never thought he'd be saying that from my car. Some view, eh, guys? Gilligan. Sure look like his beach. Arrived. All right, we made it. Let's see if we can get a spot. We're in business. So you can see guys, it's right on the water. It's, it's kind of like an old rustic seafood house. Let's check it out. Hi right, there. I want to have lunch with you guys. You have a place I could sit outside? Just one Just me. Can I just take a temperature? Oh, absolutely. Good idea. Did you want to be in our new sand area? Or all that's going to be good. You guys have been here forever. Yeah. Like what, over 30 years probably? Yeah, I don't get the 70s or 80s. There you go. See? I'm old enough to remember that. Thank you. What was my temperature, by the way? Oh, it just disappeared. It disappeared? Oh, well, hopefully I don't. <laughs> oh, wow. It's been years since I've been here, guys. And I forgot how awesome it is. Here's the raw bar. What's up, buddy? I'm Matt. Looking good. Yes, sir. You're a Mets fan, right? Yes, sir. All right. You're okay, then. Oh wow, guys. You couldn't have picked a better place at a better day. Let me just show you guys the rest of the place, which you haven't already seen. So if you don't want to be outside by the sandy spot, you can hang out under here. It's like this giant, I don't know, palapa, whatever you want to call it, hut, tiki hut. It's like a giant tiki hut. Florida room out here. It's awesome. Anybody home? That really works. <laughs> I watched too many episodes of Popeye. You got something on the water, like right on it? No place to put me on that dock over there. <laughs> no. It's worth the shot. <laughs> All right, I can give you that umbrella too. That's good, actually. I'll sit there. 
look how cool this is guys imagine hanging out here like in the early evening they got a fire pit out here not that they need fire let's check out the menu what are you guys in the mood for you got to do comforters when you're here the place is called concha joe's but i'll find out from them what they recommend wow it's a big menu I'm gonna need the glasses for this one guys How you doing today? Hey, I'm good, buddy. How about you? Awesome. My name is Carlos. I'll be taking care of you today. Thanks, Carlos. Nice awesome. to meet you. That's fine. Um, listen, we, uh, we, we are interested in a beer that is your local, what's like a local? Do you guys make, have your own brew or what do you suggest? We don't have our own brew. We actually will have that in a couple of years, but as of right it's, now, we Is have, it like a Jensen Beach beer? Uh, we have all of our native craft right there for you. Which one do you recommend? I'll go with your choice. Uh, I'm not all on to drink, so I couldn't, couldn't tell you that I'm that much on that Well, one. based on what you serve the most to locals. Probably our fancy papers. West fancy Ale. papers. Yes. Okay. Uh, Is it, how would you describe it? A little more on the sweeter side. Sweeter? Uh, yes. Yeah, that won't work. What else you got? Um, I can't do sweet. I can ask the bartender for you. Okay. So you're looking for what kind? Um, like a draft that's like a local draft beer, the closest sure. thing. Okay. No okay, problem, buddy. Guys. Thanks. Poor guy. I confused the hell out of him. I'm asking him to recommend the beer and he's not even drinking age. Oh, well. Fish tag and release here. Um, oh, you get, oh, you, right I here get a little Marcus. sample? Yeah. What is it called? Uh, sailfish tag and release. Sailfish tag and release. Made in uh, four piers. It's like... Made in Fort Pierce. Well, I'm all about letting the fish live. There you go. <laughs> Except the one I'm about to eat. <laughs> Cheers. Onward and upward. Sold. Got one? All right. Give me the biggest one you got. Gotcha. No problem. Thank you. That might be the best beer I ever tasted. Fort Pierce local beer. Fort Pierce is uh, a couple of towns north of here. I'm telling you right now, guys, I don't know if it's just that I'm that thirsty, but that is really quenching. It's funny because I always make the jokes about Gilligan, but look at this place. There's Mr. Howell's house. Skipper, Professor, Marianne in the back. I mean, look at this. Just sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip. That's just while we're waiting, let's just check out the water here. Oh yeah. There we are. That's the biggest one you got? I mean, that's all we can give it to all you right, right now. <laughs> I'll just do more than one, that's all. Okay, what do you suggest for uh, food? Well, what are you looking to eat? Um, fish. Okay, Something well, fish. Great. all of our fish is fresh. It's 36 hours fresh off the boat. So if you flip the menu to the other side, we have our mahi, swordfish, uh, snapper, and salmon. What do you, which fish do you suggest? The yellowtail snapper. It's really good. I like Donald. Okay, um, I'll do that. Sure. I'll do a yellowtail sandwich. And you get it blackened, broiled. Blackened. Blackened, blackened all the way, baby. Yep. What are you guys known for appetizer-wise? Conch uh, fritters? Yeah, we specialize in everything conch. Uh, Every, from our like award-running conch chowder as well as our conch fritters, conch salad. I guess I'll do the fritters. Is that what sure. you yeah. guys are known for? Or yeah. Is that pretty popular? Definitely. All right. And our chowder as well. And the chowder? It's just a little too hot for the chowder. You yeah, know what I, I mean? <laughs> I want them to see something different. So I'll, I'll just, I'll go with the conference. Sure. I'll do a second cheers. Guys, 
We got over 2,000 subscribers. We blew past that, and we are marching like the army that we are. Here's to the Barefoot Army, each and every one of you. Love all you guys, and looking forward to when you're all hanging out here with me, drinking a beer. Onward and upward. I'll tell you what, it's worth driving up here just for the beer. That's how good this beer is. This beer is spectacular. It's ice cold, and it's uh, definitely a draft. And you can see the little the little foam that it's got at the top. Not too much, but it adds that creaminess to it. But guys, the more I think about this area, this entire location between, you know, Jensen Beach, Port St. Lucie, Stewart, um, Hutchinson Island. I mean, everything that's relatively close to here, um, even Jupiter, it's not far. You, you have so many choices of, you're just surrounded by water everywhere. And uh, we'll, we'll make it to the beach here in a little while and I'll show you that. But I mean, you don't even have to be on the beach. You could be sitting in a beautiful place like this and it's just paradise. This feels like paradise, guys. <laughs> not, you know, I'm not exaggerating. Look at the surroundings. It puts you in a frame of mind that um, I can't think of anything that would beat it, to be honest with you. It's literally living the vacation life where you live. And um, what's better than that? It's funny too, because I say you don't have to be on the beach, but <laughs> look, it's, you know, you got beach right here at your feet. You, you, you couldn't avoid the beach here if you tried. Grandma's secret recipe in there or what? Much, yeah. Concha Joe. Is there such a guy as Concha Joe? Does he exist? Uh, no. Not that really? I know of, actually. It's just like a name? Yeah, pretty much. Just it's a brand name. Yeah. yeah. I like it. Sounds good. You another beer. Yeah, there's no such thing as a barefoot vlogger either, but you know. <laughs> there you go. You got I decided to beer. call myself that. So now there is. All right, guys. So these are the Concreters. So for those of you from like Ohio and you know, Utah and other places, not near here. Conch is um, like, it's basically a giant snail. And boy, is it tasty. You ever see those big shells? You know, the ones that they make the holes in and they like blow into and it makes it coals like, you know, out to the masses. Well, that's a conch. And this is the fish that lives in it. All right. So that's like the dipping sauce. It's probably like um, mayonnaise with um, sriracha is what I'm guessing. I'm going in. It's better than the ones I had in the Keys. No lie. It's better than the ones I had in the Keys. It's crispy on the outside. It's kind of a little bit gooey on the inside, almost like fresh baked bread. And then you have the chopped up pieces of the conch that are um, reminiscent of, of clam, maybe even more flavorful. It's good, guys. Mm. All I need is another beer. Got small glasses here, so we'll just have to double up. Here it comes, my man. There we are. All right, door to door service. Something to wash it down with. Guys, it's heavenly. Heavenly. I am not exaggerating in the least. You guys come here for yourselves and check it out, and you will see what I'm talking about. Guys, you know, when it's not good, I tell you. Or maybe at least I'll say, it's okay. This is the complete opposite of that. This is as good as it gets. All right. More black food is snapper a sandwich for So you. that's the black and snapper yes. sandwich, guys. Carlos is the man. All right, guys. By the way, if you didn't notice, when those people got up and left, I scooted right over to give you guys a little bit of a better view. If you can see through this 
picket fence over here. The bridge and the water right here. So let me uh, let me sample the fish sandwich now and see how that is. You ain't going anywhere. Get out of here, bugs. So guys, yellowtail, it, it's not your daddy's snapper. You know what I mean? Yellowtail is uh, a whole different ball of wax. Cover that up so flies don't get to it. Flies know what's good. Yeah. That's a good sandwich, guys. When you see the fish is hanging, okay? It's hanging outside of the bottom. Absolutely fantastic. It's definitely as good as the, ye the yellow tail that I had that was fresh caught in um, in the Keys. It's as good. I won't say it's better. It's certainly as good, which is amazing considering how far north I am. A little tartar sauce. I didn't realize the flies were gonna be joining me for lunch. We need a swatter. Oh well, such are the uh, trials and tribulations you have to deal with here in Florida. Flies know a good thing when they see it and smell it, taste it. Really good. I got fried conch fritters and then I got fries to go with my sandwich. Second guess in that choice, but the flavoring, the blackened flavoring, the spices, the fish is so fresh and it's juicy and it mixes together with the uh, blackened spices and you can just see it dri the drippings from it. I'm all over myself. Oh, dripped it on the fries. They'll taste better now. Oops. Catch and release right into my mouth. It's finger looking good. Guys, as good as a fish sandwich is, I'm telling you this right here, it takes the price. You could come here, they give you eight of them. You could come here and eat nothing but these conch fritters and you'd be pretty satisfied. Thanks, buddy. Mmm. Yeah. Ooh. Got a little shell in there. At least you know it's fresh. Ah, back to the dentist. Guys, sorry, I don't mean to be gross with you, but look, piece of shell. It's a piece of shell from the conch shell itself. So if it happens, it's nobody's fault. It's just, you ain't gonna get any fresher than that when you get little pieces of shell in your conch. So I finished the sandwich, I did a really good job on that. And guys, I had two of these conch fritters. And I'm gonna tell you right now, all you need is two. Guys, this is great for me to get out of my comfort zone in Boca and Deerfield and Delray and the places that are close to home because, you know, I forget how beautiful areas are in other reaches of the state. And this isn't that far from me. I mean, I got, I got up here in a little over an hour and Funny because the other direction I got to Miami in about an hour so um, it just goes to show you the diversity after the hot dog eating contest. Would I mind? Not at all. Hold on, let me throw my mask on so I don't uh, infect anybody. No, while well, you're sitting, so I'm just, I don't want to break the rules. They want me to take a picture. What are we doing? All right, I do weddings and bar mitzvahs, by the way. Oh, okay. Hold on, let me put this down. You know what? I'll put it all down. Hold on. Hold on. 
right, guys. My little window on the world today. What are we doing? Yeah. All right. You want me to do it this way, or if you want to? Uh, I'll do a couple. Long, long ways because it makes them look skinnier. Let's do it. Long ways <laughs> makes them look skinnier. Thanks for revealing that trick. All right. Oh wow, that's nice. Ready? One, two, three. Hold on. Let me get a couple of them. Let me get a few. Okay. Get that bridge. Okay. Pelican. Yeah, come on, Pelican! Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank three you so there. You're very welcome. Oh, man, thank you. See, those ladies asked me to take a picture. Made me forget my conch fritters. All right, guys. Time to hit the beach. You guys want heat, I want air conditioning. I'll trade you. Air conditioning in late February. Come on, it shouldn't be too hard. Jensen Beach Causeway. And what of you? In one mile. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Okay, guys, so when you come over the causeway, you're officially in Hutchinson Island. Okay, remember what I told you about A1A? It's the eastmost north-south road in Florida. So, that's beach right there. Guys, it might just be that time. Time to go there. Somebody's got to live up to this name. Next time on The Barefoot Vlogger. What do we got? We got fish down here? We got all kinds of uh, tropical fish here. Oh, yeah, we got the... Come on, pelican! Looks like an island out there. Kill again! Locally caught? Um, no. Just say yes. I don't like it. Dippity do da, dippity a. My oh my, what a wonderful day. I don't think those are gonna fit in this thing. Things I do for you, Svetlana. Her lunch. For tomorrow. Oh! Fits like a glove. Too bad it doesn't fit like a conch fritter.